Oh, and Blammo, guys, April 2nd, 2022. Hey, today, let's talk about uh, mining motherboards. Saw this article, the best mining motherboards in 2022. I think the only motherboard stuff I've ever talked about was issues I've had with motherboards, uh, getting, to, getting them to recognize GPUs, stuff like that, and just educating myself on what I am doing wrong in the BIOS and how to get these things to recognize and uh, come up and start uh, mining. Yeah. And I uh, talk about some of my favorites. I, I always like that X470 uh, MSI motherboard, the Gaming Max Pro. I've always liked that one, but it went from 80 bucks to 160 And I think that's because they, they discontinued it and it's a, it's a 570 replaces it. But again, it's, things were great. The prices were great at a sweet spot when I got my motherboards and CPUs and GPUs. And eh, GPUs, not so much. I was, I was getting, full disclosure, getting my GPUs through a retail bot. So I was paying MSRP and maybe a little lower sometimes, depending on which uh, retail outlet I was using. And I think of all the GPUs I purchased, I've only ever sold two. Because I didn't know how to, what would I, what would I do with this one AMD card? I didn't know at the time. Probably should have kept it in hindsight. But I jacked up the price on eBay. Someone bought it and covered all my fees. So there you go. Hey, before we get started, oh my God, what are we doing? What are we doing on April second, twenty twenty? Oh, we're holding at forty six thousand Bitcoin, and Ethereum dropped maybe a little bit, thirty four hundred fifty nine. We're in the gray. I mean, it's just kind of hovering, and kind of things are pulling back a little bit. Yeah, Ripple is, you know, I know Bit, BitBoy, Bitcoin. What's this guy's name? BitBoy Ben, Bitcoin Ben, Altcoin Ben. He, uh, His channel has a billion uh, subscribers. But again, I always go by views. Who gets the views? You can have a thousand million subscribers, but who's watching your content? But he gets, he gets all right, I guess. He pushes Ripple. I don't know about it. I don't know about Ripple. It's been around forever. And it's centralized. They're going through a lawsuit right now. And they kind of go against everything kind of isn't crypto because they want to be centralized. I want to be decentralized. If anything, looking at Canada and how they want to freeze people's assets just for having wrong thing, kind of scary. I want decentralized. I want it all decentralized. You know, that's the way I roll. So anyway, Ripple's holding at 0.82. They were pushing it. I don't know. It might shoot up. You might make money on it if you buy it. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just so sick of buying altcoins. I just want to stick Kind of with the top two or three, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, that's what I know, and I don't think they're going to disappear overnight uh, like some do. Anyway, let's go. And then I mean that for purchasing. I do mine Ethereum. I do mine Raptorium. I do mine Pulsar and Avion. Those are all pure speculation buys. Not buys, uh, pure speculation mines, I guess you could say. I am burning electricity and the cost of hardware. So, yeah, it's an investment. We'll see. It's almost like one of them's got a hit, and maybe none of them will hit. Who knows? Who you just don't know. You just don't know. There's an ad. Let's get rid of that ad. That is a basic attention token ad. I just earned me some basic attention token by clicking on that ad. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Oh my God. The best mining boards 2022. What do they have here? All right. They're going through. The first one is an Asus B250 mining expert. The reason these are uh, these used to be real cheap. I mean, under 100 bucks. Now the B250, whenever it would pop up on Amazon, man, it was going for like 300 bucks and more now. Uh, mainly because people wanted all these PCI slots to put their motherboards in. You know what I mean? That was the goal. That was the appeal of them. Same. So here's a 250. Whenever you see 250, think of mining motherboard. Uh, I don't know if it's stuck with the brand exactly, but I've seen them all different brands. So that's a very popular one. Again, multiple PCIe slots. And here you would run the. Um, the uh, risers like a GPU riser or other adapter into that and then have your GPUs hanging off a rig, a rack, or a wireframe, or one of my $7 wood racks I build <laughs> from Home Depot. You know, again, I always say this, and I, I, I kind of got this from Brandon Cohen, why spend money on stuff that not, that's not going to make you money? You know, guys are out there getting all these fancy racks and rigs for these GPUs. I'm like, how much did that cost you, 300 bucks? Woo! I just built a wood rack for seven bucks, or I bought a baking sheet cooking rack, those wire racks from Home Depot for 29 bucks. You know what I mean? 
I don't want those things aren't making me money. So why throw money down and have a huge expense? All right, let's go down. Here's the pros and cons. It's expensive, up to 19 GPUs, uh, stable power delivery, mining mode uh, for easy setup. Uh, let me refute. Let me just go over my personal take on these. So what I think from my little itty bitty itty bitty youngling YouTube channel experience, my newbie experience, I'm happy and feel a six GPU rig is more than manageable, more than enough. If I need to have more, I'm just going to make another rig. Uh, I don't want any more GPUs on one ring for heat, power. I just, I'd rather just keep it at six and go with that. I don't want to have up to 19 on one. I don't know. I just don't want to have to worry about it. I think just for me, six is enough per rig. There's your price. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, I guess price has really gone up, but these were these were sub 200, not a year ago, I think. Oh my God. Oh, uh, let's go on. This is just for, again, this is just for entertainment. I'm not telling you to buy any of these things, except for one. I'll show you my favorite. Uh, two is an ASRock. I love the ASRock brand. I have a 2013 ASRock board in one of my old gaming PCs I built 2013, obviously. And uh, the thing has three PCI slots. I have six GPUs of it. And to go back to this thing on the... Um, Supports up to 19. Off an old board with just three PCI, I'm able to get a one to four splitter, PCIe splitter, and I'm able to run six GPUs off an ASRock motherboard without any issue. And I think it's 2013. So you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on motherboards. You know, you can get uh, splitters. You can get a, um, a good BIOS on the board. You know what I mean? Like AMD BIOS, uh, I mean the MSI BIOS. You can go in and tweak and uh, make it recognize up to a uh, six GPU stuff like that. You just gotta know how to work the, the configuration on this stuff, and uh, you can get a board for under hundred bucks, and you can run six GPUs. Yeah. So when you see this crap, don't go out and buy it. Don't if you drop eleven ninety eight on a board, I'm, I'm shame on you. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're encouraging these uh, scalper prices. Stop it. Yeah, this is too much. I, you don't need all this stuff, and I'm gonna show you why. We're heading towards the epiphany I had. And uh, thanks to Brandon Coin, awesome guy. I love his channel. Check him out. Sub to that guy. He's fun. He, he's he, he's just he's he's no fluff all stuff, man. Just gives you what you need to know, and I love it. All right, uh, let's see that. Let's go on the pros. I don't care about 13. I'll run a splitter. Like I said, I have a 2013 running six already with three PCI slots. Uh, setup is not easy. All right. You know what? And on that 2013 Ashrock board, I had no BIOS issues or anything. It was plug and play for me. Seriously, I didn't have to go into BIOS and tweak anything. Whereas the newer MSI board, I had to go in and set the PCI slot, the Gen 4, I mean Gen 2. Um, I forgot what else there is. Other stuff, right? It's in another video for my BIOS setups. Uh, what's this, a BTC Pro? Look at that monster. I don't know anything about this one. Let's see the pros and cons. 12, limited stock. Yeah, limited stock is going to make it a higher price ticket item. Uh, let's see, not into it. So their price is 300 bucks. So yeah, cheaper price, okay. But again, you don't need all these slots. You can just get a splitter if you want to run more than uh, whatever, if you want to run six. Oh, this is an Asus Prime Z390. Do I have one of these? Oh, I don't know. Asus Prime, I don't think I have a 390. I'm looking, I'm looking in my pile of boxes. I don't see one. Uh, so there you go. You have this. Now you're getting down a reasonable price. Still, anything over, I mean, anything over 110, I think, is you're spending too much on a motherboard. And look for deals. Now we're going to get into the goody stuff. This is what I think is worth the bucks right now, having looked through it, having read about it, and having considered what I want to do. And right now, I'm not buying any GPUs, so the prices still come down more. I'm looking at 1660 Supers are now roughly on Newegg. For uh, 350, Amazon about 400. Amazon always has higher prices. Always look elsewhere using that Capital One Chrome browser plugin will find the best price on the internet for you. Go to Amazon, look up the item you want. Make sure that extension Capital One shopping extension is installed. Let it gel for a bit. It's gonna say, hey, you can get this board cheaper on eBay, uh, New Egg you know, BHP, wherever, Best Buy, and Amazon always has the higher prices, in my experience, right? So these boards are great. I think these are the old server motherboards from Octaminers, those those big server boxes, and uh, where massive fans would run through and keep the thing cool. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. 
It's got a built-in CPU, so it saves you right there. All you need is that uh, memory stick to go, I mean, a uh, drive stick to go right here, your, uh, your SATA drive. Your, what is it? An M I for, I'm, I'm braining it. I'll read about it. It's an M3. Am I reading that wrong? Oh, they don't say it here. Anyway, it's the, it's the SATA drive that plops in right here. Um, I love these things. You hook your power up right here, then you run power to your GPUs. I would just run six. The beauty of this, you save money because you don't need to buy extra cables and risers. You don't need to uh, buy any GPU risers. You just put the risers right in here. It'll be a little flimsy because all you have holding your cards, if you're using beefy cards, it's only being held by this bracket. So you got to be careful of the wonkiness. But if you're running smaller cards like a uh, 6600 XT AMD card or a 1660 series, NVIDIA card, you'll be fine because those are light cards. Again, I like cards with no LEDs. I like stuff over fluff because I just want these things to mine. I don't care about fancy LEDs and fancy backing. I just want the thing to work. All right, so what do we got here? They're affordable, supports update GPUs, uh, has sa uh, fantastic safety and cooling features. And again, I think you save money because you're not buying risers and cables and then the power can run in here. You can run an ATX plug in here and then power the motherboard and then power your GPUs and just let it sit out on a shelf and you should be good to go. If you have an Octomire case, you can pop in there, but those things are expensive too. If you don't need it, you, don't, you shouldn't get it. But this board is awesome and I like it a lot. And let's just do this. Oh, let's click on this ad. Oh, I, I missed. Let's go look at it. Here it is. Let's see if they're right on the price. Uh, yeah, $169.99, custom form factor. I would just plop these on a shelf, man. Then you wouldn't need to rack uh, a wood rig like mine or spend 300 bucks on some of these other guys buy these expensive uh, Veta rigs and that. It's not worth it, man. Just get one of these, put it on a shelf, and you're good to go. Uh, here they are, comparison-wise, price-wise. This is for the win. The BTC 30 cent. Chinese-made, obviously, right? Everything's Chinese-made. Uh, integrated CPU mother, I like that. You don't need to go hunt down a compatible CPU because you just need a CPU to get the thing booted up and running and let the GPUs do the work. And if we go over here, let's end this. There, man, this there's, look at that. My God, you could buy what? Up to seven, seven of these, whatever, two, six of these. Six of these for the price of one of those. I don't know. And then you don't have to buy risers and all that crap, so you're saving more money. So if we go look at this, here it is on uh, Amazon. Here it is on eBay. Here it is on eBay. And uh, we see 169.99 is correct. It's a BTC S37 mining motherboard bundle. Ethereum includes CPU. I don't know why they have that. That's just for keyword keyword search engine optimization. Uh, this is a I'm, I have a bookmark. I haven't bought one yet. I'd like to get one, but I'm holding off buying GPUs. I might buy more CPUs. Again, I'm waiting for prices on both to drop at least 100 to 200 bucks each, you know, before I start buying anything. Uh, you never know when Ethereum's gonna stop having proof of work and go to proof of stake. That's a consideration of mine. Uh, I see there's some profitability in CPU mining, but again, CPUs are expensive. Oh, let's see here. Cause here, if I do this, then I, it kind of excludes me from doing CPU mining because it's giving me a CPU and it doesn't let me custom fit like an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. Yeah. So here it is. Go check it out. It's a BTC S37. And the beauty of this, it ships within the United States. So you don't have to ship over from China. China, China, China. You don't have to ship over from China. Uh, you can get this within, you know, what a reasonable shipping time in the States. And it's free shipping. So not bad at all. This is one I'm eyeing if I do get another one. But right now I am on hold. So prices drop, not on this, but prices drop on GPUs and or CPUs. All right, guys, hope this helps. This, this gives you where I'm coming from on some of these uh, motherboards. You don't need to spend the big bucks on these specific mining motherboards. Just get yourself a basic motherboard. Of those elite ones, this is the one I like, again, because you're not using risers and you're not using extra cables and then you got to build in CPUs. So you're getting a lot in just one motherboard and you just have to buy this little uh, hard uh, little um, a SATA drive that goes in there. Let me find out what that is. It is driving me bonkers. Where is that at? Uh, DDR3 SD RAM. 
let's see, you go, you, here's your power slots, the motherboard cryptocurrency, SATA, M SATA 2.0, okay. That's the memory. I can't, it's right in front of me, I just don't see it. It's CPU, USB storage, dependable board, PCI, SATA 2, M SATA 2.0. Yeah. I don't see it. But um, it's right, I, I must have went right over it. But anyway, the drive was running. I did get one of these. It's so easy. It's just like having a USB or say a regular Kingston SATA drive and you just install Windows on it. Blammo, you're good to go. Uh, you could also probably just boot from USB right here and put a Hive OS on it. If you use Hive OS, put it in the slot right over here on the USB and you're good to go. All right, guys, let me know. What are you guys up to? Are you guys going to buy GPUs? Are you buying CPUs? Are you waiting? Or are you just buying crypto direct through an exchange? Yeah, there's three options there. CPU, GPU, and just buying, taking the money you would spend on hardware and just investing in Ethereum or Bitcoin directly. Different ways to think about it. Different schools of thought. All right, I'm out. I'll talk to you later. Go forth. Do great things. I'm out. Take care. Blammo. Blammo. Blammo.